but I guess I'll just show you right now. So I was telling them, imagine that your hand is on a water bottle and you're taking it off. So you want to try holding it? So you realize, like if I told you don't move this, you realize your wrist is starting to turn, right? And your fingers behind it are moving. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're basically going to be doing, but flipped upside down. It's like that. So if I told you, and I don't really want to do it, but... I won't. <laughs> so like this? Yeah, but then flip it. So if I told you don't move the top of it, you're going to really, like, try to use your wrist as much as you okay. can and use your fingers. So you're going to have the hoop in your hand, and your fingers are going to be behind it like this. So don't grip it like that, like over it. Just go behind. And your thumbs... I usually do this. Yeah. And then you're going to use your wrist to kind of spin it like this. So I was also saying... This is just like one point. Ima oh, sorry. Imagine that this point is directly where your hand is, and you want to make sure that the, when you spin it, it spins on one axis. So it's it's doing this, like. So that, yeah, you want to make sure that this, the trick is in one area, and then. So when you open, like instead of turning the water bottle all the way around, as soon as your hands reach in front of you, you're gonna let go. So in front of you. Actually, sorry. Is it harder with the big hoop? Yeah, it's really hard. It's a lot more force. So you're going to do this. And it re I feel like when you reach sideways, and you can open your hand and then raise your hand up. So it goes from flat to raised up. <laughs> you got a little bit of it. All right, let's see. Yeah, you did it! Yay! Okay. Do you want to do, <laughs> do, you want to do my tutorial? Oh, um, sure. Okay.